Can I actually rant about Walmart for a second? <laughs> is this – have we started? Is this part <laughs> yes, of it? Yes, yes. <laughs> Do it. Okay, okay, yes. So rant about Walmart. I went to Walmart today to get a frame for the merchandise, which I'll show off in a bit. And while I was there, I checked the toy aisle just to see if they got any neat FNAF stuff. And to my shock, they actually have a lot of Poppy Playtime merchandise. Really? <laughs> including, I, I can... including that lunchbox you posted. Yes, yes. I was hoping you were going to get there. <laughs> I did not buy it, though. <laughs> okay, yeah. But Wait, I, I need to see this lunchbox. I will, I'll will. i go get it, and then I'll tell you my story after Johnny's is over. Yeah. <laughs> and and it'll, 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 it'll explain. Keep going, though. But what I did pick up was, I'll show it off on my camera, were the, the action figures of the... Huggy, Kissy, and Mommy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and... I usually, nowadays, I'm not, like, embarrassed if I, like, go to GameStop and I get some FNAF merchandise, because I just don't care. Um, but in this specific scenario, the the self-checkout I went to couldn't register what items these were, and I had to have an assistant come over and manually type in, <laughs> like, Poppy, Huggy action figure, and Poppy, Dude. Kissy. It was so awkward, and I, <laughs> I was just standing there. It was so bad. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. Um, what's your what what did what's your story? <laughs> oh, it's it is the story for Ozone because you mentioned that that lunchbox. Basically, I went to freaking I went to the mall yesterday and, and got a pretty cool FNAF haul, which I'll talk about in a second, Ozone. But mm -hmm. I went to Walmart afterwards, and I saw something that I thought I just had to get. I didn't get it, though, for a reason I'll get to, but I'll just show you this image if you look in chat. You're going to have to bleep a bit of this out if you want to show this, but I'm going to say the full thing just because it's funny. I post this image and I says, who's pulling up to VidCon with the Poppy Playtime lunchbox? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Does anybody actually buy that? Like, <laughs> it's okay. There's, I, I there, want to know who buys that. There's one reason I didn't, and it's 30 bucks. Oh my god. I mm -hmm. would have bought this for the bit if it was not 30 freaking dollars. It's not worth it. <laughs> and the only interesting thing about it is that that cover, it's like, um, not holographic, what? but it like switches depending on the angle. I forget what it's called. Uh, what's that? Yeah, I don't remember what that's called either. <laughs> I, I am so upset that I don't live in the US. We don't have like Walmart or anything. Like, <laughs> would you what? buy that? I, I've, I've, huh? Would you buy the lunchbox? Is that why you want to go to Walmart? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not after the lunchbox. I've, I've never seen FNAF merch in a store, though. What? How, really? How, how does I've Big never... Walmart not d just dominate the UK? How is that not a thing? They got, like, Tesco. I... Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> go to Tesco. I actually shop at Sainsbury's. Um, oh, Sainsbury's. But... Sainsbury's on a Tuesday. Uh... <laughs> But yeah, I I've never really seen FNAF merch before, which is sad because I wanted one of those stupid T-shirts from Hot Topic. Uh, <laughs> oh, all <of> <laughs> you know, you know the one with the six <laughs> Freddies on it. Mm -hmm. I really no. like oh, that one. and Balloon Freddy. <laughs> yeah, Balloon Freddy. That one was so good, dude. Um, isn't that like tie dye Springtrap plush exclusive to the UK and just hasn't made it to the US yet? Am I wrong about that? It's exclusive to Walmart, so I don't think so. I could have sworn someone had told me last that it was not in the U.S. yet for some reason, because I never found it. I Wait, have an idea. It's exclusive to Walmart. Yes. Yeah. How is it in the U.K. then? <laughs> I don't know. You have to have Walmart in the U.K. You can't tell me you don't have Walmart somewhere. I've right? never seen a Walmart. Walmart's so big, it has to be international. Or are we just like heathens with Walmart everywhere in the American U.S.? Thing. Is it just an American thing? I can look it come up. Come to think of it, I, <laughs> I come to think of it, I didn't see a Walmart when I went to Germany, so maybe it is. Um, there is a Walmart in UK. Oh, <laughs> I'm imagining you're saying just a Walmart, <laughs> the singular UK Walmart. <laughs> uh, it's a subsidiary. Wait, do you guys have like, do you guys have IKEA? Yeah, yeah, we love IKEA. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd be missing out. Yeah, yeah, no, IKEA is amazing. Dogs. The, the kings of Ikea and Home Depot, it, they're great. They don't compete with mm -hmm. each other. It's like it's like the two group beer companies. I forget what, what they're called, but it's Mug and some other. They, they're they kings. They they don't try to compete. They just live their life. No competition. Is it is it Mug and A&W? I think so. Okay. Mm. 
Dude, I will I will briefly show off the haul on camera. You won't be able to see it. The, just the brief haul. Went to uh, I guess I guess our, so I guess these guys are officially out by now. But we got the we got the balloon Freddy and Foxy keychains. They look mm -hmm. so cute. I'll never open them. Uh, we got we got some of the minis. Which I got the white boy. Look at him. He's so freaking blurry. Why won't you focus? <laughs> it's that camera. Uh, yeah. Angle. We got the white boy. Hey, I fixed it this time. Uh, wow. <laughs> you know, some of the cute little minis. Circus Freddy, Chica. She looks great. But the coolest thing that I didn't even know existed. I got a BioWorld keychain. What's it look like? Like a brand new FNAF BioWorld keychain. It is a pizza slice and a little Freddy Fazbear's pizza logo. Oh. Awesome. When I went to Box Lunch, BioWorld had this keychain and a sticker. That's all that they had, like, newly released. That's, That's so sad. Oh, my God. I almost dropped it on. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's the haul. I can show off my haul quick. Yeah. Give us give us your haul and show me that secret thing. I have been nothing to show. Hanging over my head for <laughs> I a week. literally have nothing. <laughs> Actually, very quickly, the tweet I pulled up of yours, Ozone, was you holding... I don't even know what this is, but it's a face <laughs> of Circus Baby. And the caption is, me when this is pretty much the only FNAF merchandise I own. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Can you show uh, us? I thought you had it on deck. Well, <laughs> I'll I post the picture. Uh, I could go and get it. I gotta uh, see it's, it. it's, I, I technically don't even own it. It's my brother's. <laughs> what is that? Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's like, it's a cushion, right? Cushion, pillow, whatever you call it. Yeah. And it's got like these mini ball things in it and it's got like the FNAF faces on them. <laughs> Are those bunny ears? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Have, it's so I don't baby. know what's going on but it's like the only FNAF stuff we have in the house. Where did you get this? <laughs> I don't know. It must have been like an a, I don't know. Just I don't It just know. showed up in your house one night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a sea bunny but like <laughs> no. egg, egg baby or something. No. Egg baby. <laughs> It's egg baby. No. <laughs> That's their true form. Gosh dang it. <laughs> um, I got the 13 and a half inch Freddy figure. I did put him okay. where, I, where I said I'd put him on my desk. The Discord stream was cool. Yes. You showed him off. He was pretty sick. Those yes. look so cool. They I, do. I do love the movable jaw. I said I wouldn't open one of those if I got it, and I probably still wouldn't, but man, those do look sick. He's really cool. I also uh, If got... I got Golden Freddy, I'd open him. Mm-hmm. You guys aren't going to be able to see this, but my, my toy hex plushies came in. And okay. <laughs> Toy Bonnie looks a bit Ra goofy. Rate, them. rate okay. them. How do they look? Um, I will say, not to diss Daco or anyone at Hex. They're wonderful people. But I do think there's a bit of a downgrade in, in quality. <laughs> Unfortunate. Hex Unfortunate. Doing pretty good. Yeah. The, the ears, I think this is just because of the packaging, but they're pretty uh, sticking up all over the Grumpy. place. His, <laughs> his mouth is going back quite a bit. He's got some <laughs> serious dimples. Um, toy, uh, actually not toy. Balloon boy actually looks pretty okay. good. He's a chonky boy. His propeller How's his balloon stick look. Technically spins, but it doesn't spin good. Oh, there goes <laughs> there goes his head. <laughs> so that just fell off. <laughs> the balloon's very heavy. It weighs it down a lot. Dang. Luckily, really? mine mine did come with the balloon sign, which I've heard a lot of people say their balloon boy didn't. <laughs> What? How can it? Huh? Scam, I don't know. Honestly, oh, it's just missing. The packaging was all over the place. By the way, sometimes they would come in the bag, not in any casing. Sometimes it was bubble wrap. Sometimes it was just uh, a clear bag. So packaging uh, is all over the place. That's um, not good. Toy Freddy looks pretty good. He's very soft. He's like a teddy Who's bear. Who's your favorite of the four? Uh, probably Toy Freddy. <laughs> okay. I will say. Okay. When I saw this package on my porch, I was like, oh, sweet, my Freddy Fazbear pillow pet came in. And then when I found out it was Hex, I was a little disappointed. Because <laughs> it wasn't the pillow pet. Uh, lastly Dude. is Toy Chica, and she is, for some reason, massive compared to everyone else. <laughs> what? Is there a def definitive size difference? I think before these guys released, um, I, I had made a tweet talk about how they should increase the size of the buttons and it looks like they did that maybe slightly 
But I think their version of fixing the buttons was just make the plushies bigger. <laughs> but got... it's only Toy Chica. It's only Toy Chica. What the frick? Her bib does come with a ribbon at the back. You can tie into a bow. I haven't done that yet. That's, That's pretty cute. cute. Um, but overall, Hex Wave 2 is all over the place. <laughs> just okay. being brutally honest. I wish Aww. them the best of luck with the fanverse. Because if they mess up, my, my poop goes. I swear. <laughs> That would that would suck. Yeah. Hey Johnny, how mm -hmm. much do you reckon you've spent on FNAF merch? You know, cool. I've been meaning to calculate that for a very very long time. The, I I saw like recently. I, I don't know how recently it was. I can't remember. But you made a video that was like a tour of my room. Here's all mm -hmm. my merch and stuff like that. And I was like, hmm, a cool video idea would be going through that video and adding up. <laughs> the prices to see how much you've spent because it's so it must be so much mm -hmm. i i will say ever since that video and while i was like reorganizing everything i did make a checklist of every single product uh, yeah so i could figure that out Can, probably every single mm -hmm. product you have or that just i have okay i wonder how how much you have spent would combat to how much i have spent because I don't have as much diversity as you in everything, and mm -hmm. I haven't picked up everything in the last five years, but, dude, I have poured so much into minis. Yeah, that, that'd <laughs> so be your driving minis. factor. That would be where most of the money comes from, because, dude, Jump Scare Circus Baby, she's like 300. Hmm. Did you buy her for that? No, or but do I'm you just selling have her, her for that. Uh, are you actually selling? <laughs> I will not disclose. <laughs> I can sit okay. on gold and let it let it earn <laughs> diamond hands <laughs> yes <laughs> um all right how about i show off that merchandise that i've been hyping up now yeah about time yeah so a little bit ago i was on ebay just just browsing because sometimes i just like browsing and i came across this poster from 2016 i'll show it off on camera okay it poster. is from just toys oh. this is it you feel convinced I'm not going to know what this is. You might, but I think even if you do, it's still very hype, and it's it's really, really cool. Okay. Um, how much do you know about past Just Toys products? I think... Did Just Toys do the... Did they do the Danglers, or was that not them? That was them. The keychains. That was them? Mm -hmm. I think I know pretty well. I, I collected all the all the old keychains and, and all the, the cards... I think I know what this is going to be, probably. I feel like this is one of the products that, back in the day, everyone was like, that is horrid. Why would anyone purchase that? But having it now, I I, I freaking love it. Uh, I'll post it in chat now, and I want to know if you've seen it before. It's a big image. Okay. It'll take a little bit of load. <laughs> Just Toys did put most of their, like, um, designs in the cards and stickers and I've, I've thoroughly looked through all the cards and stickers but maybe it's something that just didn't pass I've only seen and... one reddit post on this thing <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I know this guy I do you know, know this guy dude okay <laughs> he's so I goofy have been, I have been That's opening sick. up the old fat mojo sticker packs and this is like you can get four stickers and put them together mm -hmm. I will go I'll go put <laughs> He's so yeah, that, that's a really cool idea. The this, but they did not make thing. a wait. Where where did they make a poster of this? Because I have a bunch of old Just Toy posters, and they did not make him in said poster boxes that I have. I don't know. I mean, the copyright's down there. Huh? Yeah, I know he's real. I gotta go get. This. <laughs> I am surprised I have never seen that before. Like, it is it's so memeable. Really weird. <laughs> I think if I it will... came out now, people would be all over it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, I no. hate I hate him so much. I'll just say that right now. I hate him so much. But he's the boy. <laughs> but, but um I have a sticker album here basically of some old Just Toy stickers <laughs> and you can basically take four stickers and freaking make him if you just put them all together. <laughs> so there so I have a sticker for every quadrant of that poster. Right. <laughs> How did you find that? I don't know. It was just on eBay. It was pretty cheap too. I mean, for its date and for its uh, like, like who yeah. would know about this? You framed him too. Yeah. Well, in the eBay <laughs> listing, it was framed, and I figured it was gonna come uh, in the frame, but no shot. Dude, eBay does not work like that. They did troll me. 
Troll um, from Rolled, sue them. But that was a good merchandise discussion. And now I guess I'll introduce the episode, which we- as I was reviewing the last episode, I realized I never really explained what a podcast was. I kind of just assumed everyone would know. <laughs> I kind of just got into it, man. I don't- yeah. <laughs> Wait, we let's just jump right into it, you beautiful bastards. <laughs> All right, explain the thing. How does it work? All right, boys. So basically, for podcasts, you don't even have to watch the video. It's pretty magical. Though, if you do want to watch the video, we have our face cams up. We also uh, pop on images of what we're talking about every now and then. But I brush my hair every once in a while. Ozone brushes his hair. I mean, underscore yeah. brushes his hair. Ozone, you could brush I'm your ready. hair. Yeah, I, I, I actually can. Wait. Yeah. doesn't mean as much when your hair don't look like this. Well. Oh, yeah. Um... But yeah, if you want to listen to it audio only, that's perfectly fine with you. Uh, as for guests, we've had Muffin was on the last episode, as well as Underscore, who's returning this episode. And we also have brand new Ozone, because we're talking about books. Currently brushing his hair. Currently it's my brushing boy. his hair. Are you? Are you really doing it? Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> we just did have a segment where we were both brushing our hair, probably then. <laughs> I don't have a brush. I have a knife. Don't do that. <laughs> I did the stabbing <laughs> thing again. <laughs> Stop doing the stabbing thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this episode, we mainly wanted to focus on the books because there's been a lot of book discussions. And since yesterday, it has <laughs> just exploded. It It oh, is yeah. insane how we set this up thinking, dude, there's enough book stuff. And then that cover drops and that cover <laughs> drops and that cover drops and then the encyclopedia. So mm-hmm. there's a lot. So where do we want to start? Dude. Actually? Actually, wait, I know where we can start. You yeah, do it. Yeah, do it. Do, do I'm gonna that. I'm gonna put you both in the hot seats. Okay. Oh, as okay. fanatics of Fazbear Frights and Tales from the Pizza Plex. Oh god. What would you guys <laughs> say Fine. is the best story and the worst story throughout the oh. two series? We we have done this before elsewhere. So this this'll be interesting. I do want I mean, do you want me to go first, or should you go first? What do you think? Ozone. Oh, God, that's... I, I, this is a very tough question. Because mm-hmm. there's a I, lot of stories. I will start it off, because we did this before. We went, like, all of us ranked some of the... A lot of the Fast yeah. Fight stories. And we came to the conclusion, and I guess this isn't really a direct answer, but you'll still find this interesting, that Bunny Call is the best story regardless of if it's FNAF or not okay it's just a good horror story it's because it has like the themes of FNAF without it being directly connected like ooh Freddy Fazbear Freddy Fazbear you know? it would it would make a yeah. really good Goosebumps story it'd make a good just any yeah exactly horror story. okay so that's one that's something we found really interesting hmm. yeah now it's your turn um I definitely say in terms of worst uh kids at play is there <laughs> The one no, the traffic man, sign one? <laughs> the one where a man turns into a traffic sign. There How you can go. you hate that like, one? It's so irrelevant. <laughs> I really do not like the one where the dude gives birth. <laughs> Maybe that's so weird oh, one. I love that one. No, in the don't flesh. love that one. Yeah, <laughs> the in the baby flesh. spring trap. Baby spring trap, weird man. With the Matt pet. See, that one is actually really good up until the pregnancy. <laughs> Or the C-section, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> can, can I, can I, can I quote you on that, by the way? <laughs> yeah, sure. But like, oh gosh. people, people like forget about the early parts of the story, which I think is really well written. It's just that's very overwhelming at the end. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't happens. see how anyone can get turned off by that. I mean, I feel like that's why you pick up the books, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. I guess that is some of the best stories. What do you think, Johnny? Because I know me and Ozone, we do a lot of book stuff. I feel like you don't generally do a lot as much book stuff. What do you think? What's well, the, the best and worst to you, Fazbear Fright stories going on? Well, the only stories I've read are Into the Pit, To Be Beautiful, and Count the Ways. <laughs> Gosh dang, cool. I was right. I was right. A <laughs> little nothing. bit of Bobby Dots. <laughs> okay. Which we can get to later. <laughs> yeah, um, not even Frights. But, I mean, I read those stories when the book first came out which was like what 2019 so it's been a little bit yeah oh my god has it been four years mm-hmm. i'm I... gonna have oh. like a existential crisis <laughs> oh it's been three and a bit yeah yeah but... oh oh my gosh it's been three years i i really liked wow. into the pit if i had to rank because it's just three i'll rank them it would probably go into the pit 
uh, count the way. Actually, no. Probably count the ways into the pit to be beautiful for me. Hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. And, and why did you stop reading them? Because um, I think at that point, it was... I could sense there was going to be a lot of stories. And it was also around the time mm-hmm. where I'm like, I don't really care about keeping up to date with the lore, which was kind of yeah. why this whole book series was made, was to what, fill in gaps. That's okay. um, So yeah, I when the second and third and fourth book got announced, I was like, I don't, I don't want to keep up. <laughs> Especially because I, I heard how weird they were getting. <laughs> I will be honest, I did wane off around the seventh, and I technically haven't read every Fazbear Fright story still. I just know the general plots of every one of them, so. Yeah, I think I know general plots of most. Okay. I just don't care to read them. <laughs> That's fair. Someday, if you get real bored, they are good reads. Mm, I'd love they to are. read about sea bonnies and traffic signs. Dude, sea <laughs> bonnies is the best. I don't even know what it's you're talking about. It's one of my about. favorites, yeah. <laughs> you guys being ironic? No, Dude, it's, okay. it's actually really good. And, and Cyclopedia just gave us a look at what sea bonnies actually look like. Do you want to see? I've seen them, or but I'm talking them? about the story. No, but you can't unacknowledge well, how amazing okay. they look. Here's the thing, though. Like summaries <laughs> are okay because you know you're you're getting a summary of the book without reading it, whatever. But like, you don't get a lot of the context from just summaries. Like you you have to kind of read them to fully understand why they do things. Like in a recent story under construction, which was in the first Tales from the Pizza Plex, that one is like about cancer, but it's it's also got like other themes to it that make it seem like they're making fun of it but they're not <laughs> so you like you, you kind of have to like actually read them to understand why they use cancer in that way and stuff uh, it might uh, be the same thing with b7 to a certain extent work or we're gonna talk about that yeah, later uh, that's gonna get interesting that's gonna be real interesting is under construction the one where a bunch of babies fill the streets Yes. yes. Gotcha. They're all goo babies. <laughs> the goo babies? The security yes. breach yeah. baby. And you can see like that mixed with cancer. Like that's that doesn't sound good from the outside. <laughs> Dude, you know? and throwing cancer in makes it for some reason so much funnier and random. <laughs> what the Yeah, freak? but it's really emotional when you read it. It's genuinely it, really well written. It is an emotional read, but if you hear a description it sounds so goofy. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> so I guess based based on that, what would you guys say is better so far, Tales or Frights? I think I already know the answer. Tales. <laughs> it's it's objectively Tales. A hundred percent. Frights feels like we're gonna we're gonna write a novel series. We're gonna test some things, and Tales is like, okay, we know what we're doing now. Let's make the best book series ever. <laughs> <laughs> the best book series ever. Ever, objectively ever in the entire world, best book series ever. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ozone. <laughs> same yeah, same titles, feeling. Hundred percent. Tales. Why they're, is they're it tales? Though? Should we break that down? Bangers. Yeah. yeah. I guess they are more engaging, thrilling. Like, like I guess a good example is like, um, comparing what was it, Felix the Shark to Submechanophobia. Felix is, like, unfulfilled in this concept, and submechanophobia feels like it took that concept, cranked it up to 100, and it's just amazing. Mm-hmm. They took what they were doing and, and really honed in on the good stuff for sales. Okay. And it's, like, it's also different types of horror. Like, it's it's not just, oh, Freddy's at your door. Freddy. Um, <laughs> it, like, Freddy there's a whole range. There's a whole range of things, which we can get into as well, because people say a lot of the stories aren't fnaf enough. Hmm. Uh, and I personally like. Don't I like wouldn't mind. <laughs> They're still good. Yeah, I I don't mind. Yeah, especially way. when we found Bunny Call, which is not that Fnafy is one of the best. Yeah. I mean, they don't have to be Fnafy to be good stories. And like the real Jake as well. It's like, people loved that one. It was really emotional, and it has almost zero to do with Fnaf. So, yeah. yeah. I think at the start of Frights, there was a lot of Fnaf. Like you had. Uh, Fun Time Freddy, the, the Spring Bonnie, Foxy, Missing Children. Like, it was all very... And I do wonder if yeah. that was just, like, wrote people in. But I think as the the series went on, I mean, you got a whole bunch of new characters. You got... You got something like Fetch is, like, the next book. That's a yeah. brand new character. And then... Dude, that's I, cool. Like, <laughs> I don't understand why people don't think that's, that's cool for it mm. to, like, branch out into new content. Yeah. New areas. 
I think it would depend because I mean I look at fetch and I'm like yo sick dog animatronic I look at gumdrop angel and I'm like what the yeah <laughs> huh? no, no, okay yeah no, no, that's, fair. that's fair that's maybe that's honestly no 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 if you're gonna look at a cover and be weirded out you need to look at um friendly face <laughs> oh yeah. i still <laughs> the to cat this day face. i to this day hate that cover so freaking much it's mm -hmm. veiny oh, it. he's veiny he's veiny <laughs> i will say a character i've grown to love now that i'm looking at all the covers is blackbird dude that yeah. creepy blackbird. mother fricker <laughs> blackbird is a fan favorite at this point he's so good just as i'm gonna pull him up right now I don't even care what he does in the story. He could like do something really bad and be like, "That's my boy right there." My boy Blackbird. My boy. <laughs> You're rooting for him. I need so much merchandise of Blackbird. I think we talked about this uh, in the last episode, but I think a, a mystery mini wave would be really neat. Okay, I was gonna say just at the thought of that. This is not a topic we put down, but do the books deserve merch? Do some of Fazbear Fright's characters deserve merchandise? And would people buy it? I think that's a very yeah. question yeah. that could vary, dare I squeak. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think a uh, lot of book fanatics, like you and probably Ozone, would, mm -hmm. I mean, if Ozone could go to a store and find them, you know, <laughs> would love to pick up, like, mystery minis or, you know, plushies or whatever of the book characters. But I think in I the think I... sorry, go on. Yeah. No, 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 no. You sorry. Okay. Fazgir. I think <laughs> Fazgir. <laughs> <laughs> we did got those freaking slime jars. Not too off. Mm. Yeah, it's about the same. Um, but I think in the eyes of the companies, because they're not so mainstream as they're some games stuff, and you you really have to go into the book to find out about these characters, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I just don't think it would be worth it. Uh, I mean, even U2s has said they don't plan any book characters, which is a little shocking Dang. to me. Because <laughs> U2s usually like does some pretty obscure things, like they're doing Burn Trap that nobody, mm -hmm. no, there's no merch of him otherwise. Mm -hmm. Huh. Okay. I and I I think you started off by saying like a mini set. That sounds for some reason exactly right because. Frights is a collection of stories with little individual characters. Each of them, I mean, maybe they're small, but they deserve, like, you know, one mini. Mm -hmm. Here's this character. And, and I mean, you know, yeah. not everyone's going to get a figure or a plushie, but just a mini. That's just, that just works. Just, just do it. Wait, what is Tales number five? Tales number five? Bobby Dog's conclusion. Oh, yeah, Bobby Dog's conclusion. conclusion. Why do you ask? Because uh, I was going to move on to predictions for Nexi and Tiger Rock. Because <laughs> Nexi, is Nexi six? I think Nexi six and Tiger Rock is seven. That sounds right. Yeah. yeah so, Ozone, any thoughts about, yeah, Nexi and Tiger Rock? What are these books going to give us? Because we know what Bobby Dots should give us, but what are those two going to do? Or could we just not know? Mm. It's hard It's hard to tell, but I all I remember is in Tiger Rock, we have a story about the VR booth, which has been mentioned in previous stories. Okay. So that's pretty cool. We know it's going to connect a little bit. There's a melting doll on that cover, and there's a tiger on that cover, and that's all we really know. <laughs> I wouldn't quite say there's... that's predicting. I think that's just observing. <laughs> Analyzing. No, I, I, I said there's, like, there's a VR booth, right? And we've seen that in yeah. previous stories. So it's going to connect, which is going to be nice. But mm -hmm. uh, that's about... Uh yeah. <laughs> Are there any like Thazant higher ups or like anything like that, or or was that think... like wait which which book's that in the, okay, the, Bobby the Dot's CEOs? Bobby Dot's conclusion is going to be massive, probably the biggest book yet because it's got a story about the higher ups. It's got a story okay, possibly about dots. Gregory, and <laughs> it's got the finale of Bobby Dot, and I think those are three very good. Uh, contenders. Is that all in one book? Is that all Bobby Dot's yeah. conclusion? Wow, mm -hmm. that is yeah. the book of all time then. It is the book. <laughs> the book of all time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's only written by Scott and Andrea. That's cool. What, uh, is that right? Is Andrea the main writer usually? Like for most of the big so. stuff? Okay. Yeah. I think it's usually her and Ellie. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
That is really cool. I did say something so goofy, though, that I, I will say it right now just to put it out there as, like, a prediction. I saw that Nexi cover, and for some reason I just said, <laughs> Miss Afton. <laughs> <laughs> and I refused to explain it's myself. It's a girl. <laughs> I refused to explain <laughs> myself. Just a little girl. <laughs> Robot. I I refuse to explain myself on why. What do you what do you guys think of people using this cover alone as quote unquote confirming Gregory's a robot? Because it's another <laughs> example of Cause it's a robot. Look at this kid. child, it's a robot. Like, oh surprise. Look, we, we have, have robot Lally. For oh, he's years. not really a robot though. Lally's not like, even a robot, he's just a thing. We've sure. had robot children for so long, like we don't need more robot children to confirm that Gregory is a robot child because we know it's possible. We just need more evidence, you know. Mm. Yeah, people are robots. People are now we got people that are freaking AI. Where's this going? <laughs> yeah. Well, how about one of the most recent pieces of evidence against that? We can finally move uh -huh. on to the encyclopedia leaks. Ooh. We were gonna talk about will the encyclopedia provide a lot of like good juicy <laughs> like, lore, but now we quote, have the though. answer. Let me find your quote. <laughs> what was my... <laughs> Will the encyclopedia provide... What the fuck does that mean, Kobe Bryant? <laughs> and then you said lot. <laughs> <laughs> I meant lord. I meant lord. <laughs> Do you think it will provide then? It kind of has. Honestly, mm. it has provided. Yeah, it has. It Okay, as far as we can tell from the pages we've seen... There's no errors. Really? There's that's, no mistakes. Uh, I've heard the exact yeah. opposite from quite a few people. What? I, see, okay, there's people who say there's no errors, and then there's people who don't like getting their theories deconfirmed, so they say it's <laughs> an error. <laughs> Actually, uh, <laughs> I was so tempted to tweet that out, because there were so many people I saw who were celebrating the book saying, or heavily implying Vanny and Vanessa are the same people, and yeah. then they were like, oh, but the book's wrong in this area so when it says yeah. gregory's a human that can't be right no the book's wrong it's we can't trust yeah. it. yeah and it's like what well, you just said it mm -hmm. confirmed another theory so i okay look <laughs> from a non-biased standpoint i mean it, are there errors that i haven't seen that are not like it says gregory's a human that's not right is there like some errors you've seen that are non-biased <laughs> uh you know me i'm so in depth with the lore i did see some people complain it talked about the nightmares and yeah them originating it's, from freddy fazbear's pizza that is weird yes <laughs> okay well it's also that uh the person we play as in fnaf 4 is the crying child hmm. when we know michael with the nightmare fredbear drawing yeah. so it's like weird but people are saying like oh then the book is wrong no because michael can still like they they can the both without being in that gameplay you know? <laughs> yeah the way we think it works they can both be doing it but the book is saying it's mostly just the crying child for some reason so yeah. it's causing a bit of strife but it i mean i don't think that's an error mm -hmm. and i think like it doesn't back appear in FNAF to be an error. 4 back in fnaf 4 when that first came out like the crying child was originally the protagonist of that right yeah mm -hmm. and regardless of whatever's going on with michael he's still the one <laughs> the one you shouldn't have killed <laughs> No, not that one. Gotcha. Not that freaking one. Dude, the we gotta we gotta not even just talk about errors, we gotta talk about the art of this book. The art Dude, is the art's stunning. Goated. Phenomenal. We've never gotten so Actually, many it's probably mostly the human characters. The Henry yeah. drawing's cool. Though He looks just like the fans have drawn him for years. There were so many people in the Fredit Discord who were like, oh my god, I'm shaking, like I'm screaming, which I hope shaking they were exaggerating, because right it's just a 2D drawing of this fictional okay. video game character. Dude, I hope they <laughs> screamed like the kid finding the Livewire Freddy plus at the Walmart. <laughs> I, love that video. I must say, though, I did scream at the Crying Child page. It's mm. so that crazy. One, the Crying Child page is so dope. cool. It's he, dope, yeah. He is a ghost. He's he a little so cool ghostly looking. dude. And... That one image of Elizabeth with baby behind. That's oh, sick. Wow. It's amazing. It's, <laughs> it's amazing to get just anything on a human character. Cause... And the citrus. Sorry. Oh, yeah, the citrus. <laughs> it looks so cool. I will it's say. It's a full body shot. It's a full body. Mm -hmm. That Amazing. one, there's a few drawings. Because it is, you know, 
Pinky Pills and Lady Fizzy. Now it's like, I'm not sure about that one. The one that came to mind was Elizabeth running. <laughs> and if yeah. you look at her like arms proportions mixed with her body and head, it just it looks so weird. <laughs> is it weird? I didn't notice. <laughs> it is. I mean, most of the art is really cool. Though they did they did give Phantom Puppet a massive hog for some reason. <laughs> what did you say? You wait. <laughs> wait. I gotta wait, find what? it. I gotta find it. Wait. They gave him a uh or her a abundantly noticeable bulge no i didn't notice <laughs> let me find i'm sure ozone's tweeted it out <laughs> oh. i'm looking at credit i'm looking oh, at credit no. oh okay no i see the elizabeth proportions now what the frick mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. oh my god okay i'll post both of them i have them right here <laughs> you see the phantom pup it's also weird Dude. they call the the phantoms the shadows um i was yeah. gonna want to talk about that you was gonna want to they... talk about it well <laughs> Dude, that is so. Why does the fan? I was looking at the shadow puppet. Why does it say? <laughs> Dude, look at that thing. <laughs> what the hell? What is that? Uh, oh. Official artist, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Take a second to breathe. <laughs> um, what I what I will say is funny is we got like a double page spread for Twisted Chica, who doesn't even appear in in the Twisted ones, and we got a one page for Eleanor. We got one page with the original art. And you know what I, we uh... didn't get a page of? what fred bear or michael <laughs> um yeah have we not i don't think we've seen the last set of uh pages have no we? they they've posted the full table of contents oh yeah, my god no is michael. there really no michael there's or no bear? michael there's no fred bear i don't know how. how's that possible they they also missed out a lot of fuzz before scott's they, scott's keeping it close to his chest isn't he mm. um dude the elizabeth proportions are so horrible <laughs> I hate them. Now that you say it, I can't unsee it. <laughs> what about Phantom Puppet, man? The the one on the right. <laughs> um, yeah, the ones on the right are really cool. <laughs> so you know what's super weird? And I actually fig like we figured out why they say Shadow Puppet and mm. Shadow Balloon Boy. Okay, sure. There is a page for Phantom Puppet, but there's a page for Shadow Puppet. They're two separate things. Uh, then why is the that right? Like I don't know why. There, the glossary says there's a shadow puppet and there's a phantom puppet. Okay, but I mean, what I guess the page there... says, what? <laughs> there is oh, wait, are they counting the shadow puppet from like the mini games? <laughs> well, here's okay. I not really. I'm not sure. Anyways, the basic thing it looks like is that if the character in FNAF three that was in a mini game got a phantom, they're a shadow. <laughs> So the puppet's in a FNAF 3 minigame, Balloon Boy's in a FNAF 3 minigame, uh, Mangle's in a oh. FNAF 3 minigame. They have shadow versions, and you know what's super weird? We've had Shadow Mangle for a while. Yeah, I mean, we've had shadow versions of all three for a while. I don't... What do you mean? <laughs> they were in the minigames. That's... Okay. That's True. exactly what I just said. Agony beings. Agony. I know, but you okay, specified yes. Mangle. We love the agony. Oh, dude, mm -hmm. the crying child, he's crying as a ghost. Black tears. It's great. Which is weird because oh, yeah. ghosts I don't did that. cry. Oh. How do you know? Have you seen Casper cry? He's always happy. I play Phasmophobe. I think I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, and we never finished that Christmas update all thanks to you. Why was it me? It wasn't my fault. Because <laughs> you kept dying. All cringe -like. Oh my god. Dude, I bet Ouch. you killed me. I bet you killed me. <laughs> no. I never have money. That's a thing. <laughs> I don't contribute Anyways, much. Encyclopedia? 9 out of 10. I'd say maybe 10 out of 10. Mm, wow. Pretty I'd crazy say, I'd say 9. I'd say 9. <laughs> okay. It's just, it's just so freaking cool. Mm. I do love <laughs> how everyone switched up so fast from... Ew, look at this cover. This book's gonna suck. To all the leaks <laughs> coming out, and they're like, I'm literally shaking cover, right now. The cover shaking, and shaking and crying. Shaking and crying. 
<laughs> um, how can Scott not include Fredbear and Michael? Because... Isn't that just like well, deliberately weird? That's what I mean. I feel like some characters got way too much priority over others. Hmm. <laughs> like, because the too many goddamn characters. <laughs> We got a Dark Spring Trap page, like Dark Spring Trap page is so that. funny. <laughs> it's it's funny because the Dark Spring Trap art does not match how he looks in that sister location <laughs> cutscene. He is still has his pelvis in that yeah. art. Yeah. That's like his main difference. It's such an obscure cutscene as well. Those hips um, did lie. Also, you talked about Twisted Chica. I love looking at Twisted Chica's bio spot and it says appearances none. <laughs> <laughs> They should have put, like, <laughs> FNAF Monopoly. <laughs> and she's the only one that has it, even though other characters show up. <laughs> or, like, Funko Pop. <laughs> FNAF Monopoly. Yeah. Um, just has no appearance. Dude, Golden Freddy's page is so <laughs> vague. It's so annoying. No, it's that's so cool, because it's he's supposed to be vague. He's Golden Freddy. You know, I guess that is... I guess that is a part of it. Did we not get a Cassidy page? Did we really not? Who? Yeah, no, we didn't. Did we not get? Did we not get any pages on the missing children? Did we not get an Andrew page? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what we did get? <laughs> what? How, good thing they included. I, I would have been throwing if they did. <laughs> The human heads from Sister Location. That's exactly what I was about to say. I knew you were going to say that. It just says human faces or human heads in the bio. Uh, and, hey, and Little Joe and the Magician. My favorite FNAF characters. What do you, okay, crazy. I, I have a crazy thing to pitch because I know where to take this, but I want to ask. Uh, thing says Golden Freddy's in Sister Location. Mm, yeah. Yeah. He Why? Is. Why? Where is he? He because tell me. Of... Everywhere, oh, yeah. all at once. <laughs> oh, is it because is it because Golden Freddy is mentioned in Custom Night? I mean, he he's got his little little psychic Fred Fredbear dude. That's not Golden oh, Freddy though. True. It's pretty well, close to it, man. <laughs> it is. It is a golden. Freddy. It is a golden Freddy. <laughs> Yeah. So, All right. smoke for and rolled. Just, just leave that out there for thought. <laughs> Anyways, dude, a good encyclopedia, pretty mm. epic. We will be copying. I will cop too. I'll rip one apart. I'll scan it up. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that publicly. Yeah, don't. Let's... <laughs> I like getting good assets for videos. Cops That's are on the way. <laughs> I'm paying for it. Well, but the people you distribute it to aren't. <laughs> uh. Well, should I make them pay me? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> make them make a donation to Scott Cawthon. Yeah. <laughs> Just send him PayPal. Anyways, I think with that encyclopedia done, we should probably talk about most recent Tales book, Submechanophobia. Because mm. with this book was amazing for a lot of different reasons, don't you yeah. think? Uh, what are the stories yeah. in the book? What's the second one? I know there's some mechanophobia in Bobby. It's, it's um, the one about the cult. <laughs> oh, oh, the yes, animatronic the apocalypse. Oh, animatronic apocalypse. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> it's it's personally one of my favorite stories. I really like it. What's it about? Um, so it's about like this club called the what's it called underscore the Fazbear the Fazbear fan, fan, fan club. club. Yeah, <laughs> so and creative. Then, Basically, yeah. Uh, they have fast food. No, uh, the protagonist like doesn't go to a meeting, and then like a few days later, he realizes like all of them are like possessed by something, and it's like kind of shown to be well, not shown to be glitchtrap, but like it's kind of implied that it's like glitchtrap has taken over the something's farm. under control. These people, yeah, and then they do weird things like eat dirt and <laughs> and beetles. That's and all beetles. weird. I do that every day. <laughs> It is funny. They just pick up dirt and eat it, and this is a FNAF story. <laughs> yeah. Wait. So the kids who went to the club got possessed. Yes, except the yeah. main character because he wasn't there. Like, the they make a big point at the start that he left early one day, and after that day, everybody's acting weird because whatever happened, he wasn't there for. We think that could be related to like the staff meeting in Security Breach, where all the staff were killed or whatever. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
my theory is that it's a subtle a- allegory <laughs> that kids reading these FNAF books <laughs> should always skip out on school and always eat dirt. <laughs> eat dirt, yeah. Grow big uh, and strong. It, it, it gets worse because they, like, stick needles under their fingernails and mm. bury themselves up to their faces in the ground, in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> and then they eat their way out. They, <laughs> yeah, that is how they got out. Actually, Dumb Drop Angel 2.0. Oh my gosh, dude, I could write these books. Uh, um, it does end with a man who is he, he gets stabbed. <laughs> a man, <laughs> he gets stabbed. Make the noise, make the noise. Oh, uh, I probably shouldn't have a knife on YouTube, <laughs> not on YouTube. Anyways, oh, yeah. big YouTube's coming after you, anyways. He gets stabbed with a fire poker, and he explodes into Fazgoo. Not Fazgoo. It's well, agony. It's all black goo. <laughs> oh, so they're the same goo. thing. He's made of black, black goo. goo. But people, because it mentions in the story, it looks like motor oil. People took that literally and were like, oh my He's god, motor it's oil. motor oil. He's a robot. Like, no, it's cops like, don't know what they're talking about. It's freaking agony. It's black goo. Yeah. When you said motor oil, all I could think of was the TikTok where it, the motor oil comes out. It's like, oh, I oh. am alive. Immortalized. <laughs> Maybe it's just that. building up to a bendy uh, we'll We will show you that clip right after this is over. <laughs> it's such a classic clip. I This is going to be embarrassing. But I have this shampoo <laughs> that I sometimes use, and it's very purpley. It's like a is it? rich, okay, deep purple. purple. <laughs> and I was ever since... ask if it's like some charcoal something or no. whatever, but... Okay. But ever since watching that meme, sometimes I like rub it in my hands and I'm like, <laughs> I do what the TikTok does, but I do it with the, it's been so long. <laughs> and I'm ashamed to admit it cracks me up every time. <laughs> it just, oh, it's been so long. <laughs> Pat, please record that. Please, oh, please. I swear to God, please record that. I'll pay anything. Yeah, make a YouTube school. <laughs> oh, I will, and I'll get so many views. <laughs> I'll pay. I'll pay anything. What? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Add it to the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a Patreon. The only fans. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking um, of that, by the way. Oh. <laughs> Markiplier. Let's talk about the Bobby Dots. No, we're not talking oh. about Markiplier's only fans. <laughs> okay. What is that up to the Bobby Dots? Let's talk about the Bobby Dots. Okay. Okay, Bobby Dots. Well, I, I see on I see on your list it says Bobby Dots chest reduction. <laughs> what does that mean? This is the piece de resistance. This is the thumbnail. It says nerfed. This is the thumbnail. It was this has been oh. planned for quite a while. So this does tie into a previous thing that is additional submagnophobia book changes, basically, but But I love that the chest was the main focus point and everything else is yeah. additional. <laughs> um, so you remember back on Fred a little while ago, I think and Tom got the book as usual, freaking nerd, always getting things early Wow! <laughs> and, and did a reading, you know, um, since that reading, the current edition of the book is different. Things were changed after that reading. Mm-hmm. Do you know all those things, things that were changed? Reach. Well, we're not talking about that. We'll get to that. <laughs> we're talking about how oh, you think Rose... about the actual lore. <laughs> You, Rose you see the connections. Got changed. Wait, Rose really? got nerfed. She has... Dude, you yes. don't know this? <laughs> Wait, you don't know? Okay. What did you just say? Get the, get, get the orb. I'll get the orb. <laughs> I got the orb. Ah, uh, he's got the orb. What? I'll Wait, post it too. I, I need you to read this orb. I need you to read this orb. Out I loud. can't read it. It's spinning too fast. I'll read it for you. <laughs> With, With an, an abundantly best... noticeable bust. bust. Abundantly noticeable best. She bust. Wore... Not best. Oh. A white okay. and gray bell bottom. Okay, okay, you can suit. stop. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> That's all you need with, with the first line. <laughs> with an abundantly noticeable bust is not in the current version of the book. She, oh. her, they took her bust away. They nerfed her bobbies. Oh, oh I hate modern day FNAF. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they took from us. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Come on, Scott. Um... <laughs> I mean, in other news, not as important as that, there were other changes in the book that we got to talk about. Um, they made uh, freaking Bobby Dots, the story in general, when the dude is just running through the pizza plex, the changes made it more accurate to the current pizza plex. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is, Bobby Dots, uh, regardless of the fact that it's a two-parter, is the most monumental story we've ever gotten. Cause it That's is, what I've been saying. I'd say it's 
I, every other story you can place a bit of doubt in, this one confirmed in the games. Undoubtedly. Dude, please. It's the same pizza plex. Bobby Dots in Ruin. Come on, Steve. Bobby Dots in ruin. I, I need hope. To see Rose. I I really think it's gonna happen. <laughs> That'd you, be so. You think what's gonna happen? In in Bobby in Dots, room? like spoilers, obviously. In Bobby Dots, uh, that it literally like goes through things that were insecure. Like they go into the bathroom of the West Arcade and they come out and th- there's just DJ Music Man there and he sticks his hand in and like it's the exact. He tries same to scene grab the dude from Security mm. Breach. Same with the generators in in Moon's um, yeah. place. They talk about how they the explain why the those are there. Yeah. yeah, it's it's insane how accurate it is. And, and, and why and are I they mean, there? Uh, because do you want me to get into the lore of Moon? They want to just hide do it. TLDR but... man, dude. <laughs> Moon, he used to be in the theater, which you know is right next to the daycare, but they repurposed mm-hmm. him as the daycare attendant. Okay, mm-hmm. and. They tried to get rid of the moon side of him because that was just part of the show, Mm -hmm. but they couldn't. A glitch stopped it from happening. So if the lights, if the lights happen to, (laughs) yes, if the lights happen to go out, he will turn evil and start, you know, hurting children. So, (laughs) so they had to put backup generators in so no lights would go out. Now, wait a second. You know, (laughs) I didn't write the book. I don't know what you want from me. Wait, if he hurts children at the night, but there are no kids at night. So what's bad? No, the light's going off in the day. Just keep them on. <laughs> Duh. Dude. Use a daylight sensor. Duh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. just get like like some sunroofs or moonroofs or whatever. And, <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> it's always light. There's always going to be light. Nah, they're too cheap for that. <laughs> they're too cheap to yeah. punch a few Wait, holes in the it, roof yeah it's really funny how like they've got this whole mega pizza plex and other pizza plexes as well not to mention like they've got all of this they seem to have so much cash and they just can't <laughs> invest in like good lighting or anything <laughs> right. yeah god yeah well, it might be because escapes. they're draining power from the from underneath pizza plex yeah so so yeah bobby dots gonna be super sick i mean the only stories we can really say because okay johnny are you aware of the strife that we theorists go through over what stories are canon to the games or not are you aware of the strife yeah because i've heard you talk about it (laughs) i do (laughs) rant about it a lot but the point is frights screw it doesn't matter right now tales there's some stories that are connected to each other but we don't know yet but if you can be certain about one thing bobby dots is canon to the games 100 percent undeniably it's amazing I will fifty twenty freak out if I boot up Ruin DLC and I see <laughs> Rose's Rose. noticeable bus. Rose is a bunch of yeah. <laughs> uh. The first screen is just a bus. You're we... gonna boot up. You're gonna boot up just like FNAF Six. Boot up a mini game. It switches. Rose sitting behind the desk right there. <laughs> it, it would be really cool to have. She's doing like the like Monica pose with her like, <laughs> chin on her hands and. Oh, Bobby's someone out. Like a, someone should make a DDLC mod. Bro, this okay. <laughs> I'm Johnny, gonna hire an artist funny, to make that. I'm, Johnny, I'm funny it down thought. Right now. This should have been our cosplay. <laughs> the, the Bobby ooh, I'd be down. You'd be down. I'd be down. This, Wait, I'd, this be down. Have been... I'd be down. I'd be down. Yo, you don't. <laughs> For where? Where are you coming to? Where am I coming? Hey yo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. I, I want to dress up as a Bobby Dot, please. <laughs> Which one? I want I all I want in life is for us three to be Bobby Dots together. I'm down, but I have to be Rose. <laughs> you have to be Rose. No. I will be Gemini. Yes. Gemini. Okay, fine. Wait, I'll be, be the Olive. ugly one. <laughs> <laughs> fine. She's great. Don't you think? I I'm I, I, I I am green. not like Olive is not my spirit animal. <laughs> speak, Dude, speak which, to that. <laughs> which bo- pos- personality test? Which Bobby dot are you? Rose, that's all that's got to be some like BuzzFeed FNAF quiz. Yeah. No, I'm gonna, I'm make, gonna that. make that. I'm gonna. Uh, no, I am. I am. No, I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, boys, we will be doing that. We have to. We have to. That'd be amazing. That actually, actually. works out pretty <laughs> well. Dressing up. Yeah, sir. <laughs> 
blue. And if we can't do it IRL, we'll just set up for the next episode when Ozone and you guys are on here again. Yay. So have you only read Bobby Dots of this of this book? That's the only one you've read. I didn't finish it, but yes. You didn't even finish Bobby Dots. No. You just wanted to get to the part, <laughs> didn't you? Because I got bored. <laughs> Give it a stack. <laughs> Dude. Uh, I'm not... <laughs> I got to the part and I was like, type, yes. Yes. "It sounds yes. like you have a life." <laughs> I do have a life, but you're you're depressed because you don't have the addition with the noticeably abundant bus. Yes, okay, we talked about this a bit in episode one, but I I did reach out to Entom, who got that early copy that has that quote. He wasn't willing to give it up. Fair to him, completely. You know his decision. It's a gift, <laughs> but he did say that there might be other copies out there. And it is my bucket list, bucket list for life to get a copy of that. I will not rest. Wow. I will not die. I will be blessed when I have that copy. That will That is what will make you happy in life, mm. getting that book. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're that... sick, <laughs> Today's my simping day, I guess. I'm going to see my reply to YouTube's news. <laughs> What did you say to U2's news, huh? Well, there was a, a silhouette. This is completely off topic. But there was a silhouette of a new U2's oh, figure. Oh, I know what it was. Um, <laughs> I know what it was now. <laughs> we will still be copying. <laughs> Do you want to tell us about said YouTube figure? U2's figure? Do you wanna... Yeah, so there's a new U2's figure of um, a bunny girl. <laughs> and everyone assumed it was going to be that one. Oh. Like the anime bunny girl. And it it's... turned out to be Amaranth. <laughs> which <laughs> i i said in the group chat they should have done her in the bird mask because that would have been hilarious <laughs> yeah coincidentally <laughs> enough you still know amaranth enough to cop that <laughs> <laughs> i'll keep the stack regular amaranth enjoyer <laughs> she's live at some pretty good Enjoy hours it. that no other streamers <laughs> live so when you're bored you just boot up the site you know dude <laughs> Got to tune in one of these times. <laughs> <laughs> you should. Anyways, what do you guys think about that third graphic novel collection for Fazbear Frights? <laughs> Getting back on topic. <laughs> it looks so good. Featuring your favorite what, character. When we wrote this, what? Your Ralpho. Ralpho? Ralpho. Okay. When, when we wrote this list, all we had was the cover because it had just gotten revealed with the cookbook. Mm-hmm. But Ooh, now we have three cookbook. pages. The cookbook. We'll, we'll talk about the, the cookbook, cookbook. But it, it had just been revealed with the cookbook cover, but now we have three pages from it or so, and it is so good. It mm-hmm. looks so good. It's by... it's by who did the fourth closet. Yep. Deanna Camara. Yes. She's it's so good. It's such good art. It's so good. She's very good. And I you. love that story. I'm so happy it's not done like <laughs> my other favorite story, Out of Stock. Like a stab which, in the back of which unfortunately got the short end of the stick. <laughs> oh yeah, dude! I just remembered the plush shop chaser. <laughs> what he looks dude, like. Dude, I'm just glad I that this. Looks, I think it's cool. It's like he's I, a good little dude. I like um, hide and seek, and I'm glad it got good art this time. You know what yeah, I like it... in the previews? What, <laughs> what do you on like the, on the second panel? The little sprite of. <laughs> Shadow Bonnie. Yeah. Shadow Bonnie. He's a Shadow goofy Bonnie. Dude. I was really confused by that though. I was like, is this how Shadow Bonnie is being portrayed? And then I got the full context of it. <laughs> yeah, he's just a chibi dude. Yeah. He's just a little chibi dude. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> uh what <laughs> section of the book is this? Do you guys know? Because I didn't know. Um, probably like the... it's it's pretty early on, but maybe like a little way through. It's okay. when he gets into the actual arcade machine and he's like going through the areas, like trying to find Shadow Bonnie. He's mm. gonna fail this game and then he's gonna freaking destroy it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. He's sm- he takes a he pegs a baseball bat to all this stuff. I don't know if it's a baseball bat, but I know he destroys this game. Jeez. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> he's gonna yeah, have to pay it for is that. Destruction of public property. Oh. Also, he freaking works there. So, <laughs> but then we've got, the, but then we've got the dream scene as well, where his back is getting stitched. Oh, it, dude, I hate it. Is, that. It is stitching it, it yeah, to his back. It's gross. It's grim. Hmm. It's. I just can't wait to see Shadow Bonnie coming out of his back. That's gonna be sick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm very excited about that now. 
Do we know what the other story is going to be? Yes. Um, it is hide and seek, and well, hide two and seek bunny call. Other ones. <laughs> hide and seek bunny call. What's the third one? Surely I have it, it on my Twitter somewhere. No, 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 no. I can't remember any of the stories. <laughs> uh, cause well, we we really don't know unless it's said. Cause these are like mixes of just random stories. So often. Step closer, so bunny it's... call, hide and seek. Step oh, closer. Right. Step closer is going to be real cool. See, actually, we're skipping a lot of stories. Yeah, it's a little. Concerning. Are we? Are we skipping now? What I ask is, are we skipping the unimportant ones? They skipped count the ways. They skipped that the man in room eighty. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. They, have we skipped the real Jake yet? Or are we not there yet? When they're gonna. Like they're gonna skip the real Jake too. Because, I mean, I I looked over, like, the ultimate guide thoroughly. Because, you know, we... What? What is so funny? Sorry, this is so off topic. But the Meatly just made a mascot horror game where his sock puppet is the fucking monster. And it looks so stupid. But I love it so much. Oh, my God. I'll have to check this out afterwards. Sorry, go on. <laughs> oh my gosh, I see it in my server. What the Meatly's storage <laughs> world? Are you kidding me? I want to oh play it so bad. Oh. Is that this looks supposed to be making fun of Ban Ban? Yeah, this is gotta yeah. be making fun of it. He this said it took him one day. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh. it looks better. <laughs> Anyways, look. About them stories that they're skipping. I <sighs> that's a crazy image. Okay. I have combed over the ultimate guide because it gave us a lot of like unseen art of Fazbear Frights. And uh, the only stories that don't have art are some of the very, very latter ones, which I can understand because, you know, maybe time crunch, they just couldn't give like really late in yeah. Frights, like book 11 stories art. Mm -hmm. But two that were very early on that didn't get art were the real Jake and the Mandarin 1280. There's no art yet for them. And they're probably going to get skipped as graphic novels. Unfortunately, I'm Sam. really surprised we didn't get character profiles for like stuff like that in the character encyclopedia. Yeah, we got, um, I, think I mean, Jake we and got, Andrew would have been very cool. We got William mentioned as in the manor room 1280, but the problem is it's just like all we see is scratch up on the page. There's no like picture of what he would look like or anything, yeah. so it just kind of sucks to, mm. to miss out on all of that. It's weird they did Henry art, but not William. We yeah. you're right. We don't have a like real like human games William. You know what? Yeah. After this conversation, it's gone from a nine out of ten to an eight out of ten. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, that wasn't the point. Damn, the more we keep talking about no. it, the more it goes down. <laughs> yeah, because I again I think it had a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. I, I think a lot of the stuff is really cool. Like the art is incredible, but I missed out quite a lot of content. I guarantee you, we will probably get an updated edition of this book after, Definitely. like, Ruin and Tales is after over. After Tales, yeah. Because they'll I just they have to throw... That. You don't think so? No. No. Why not? Because, I mean, there's they already did a bulk of characters, including all the main characters, so I think advertising it of, like, yo, sorry we forgot about Andrew and Jake. He was a new book. <laughs> I, I, I mean, don't like, see them doing that. Well, I mean, like, new animatron... No, no, it doesn't have to be the book, specifically. It's for the reason that we're going to get all the circus characters and, and balloon characters in Ruin, hypothetically, and we're going to get, you know, some new characters in Tales. They're going to do some sort of updated edition, and maybe it'll have some changes. Unless... I, I bet it will happen. Unless they do it Freddy Files way, where they just drastically increase the size of the book and include I, all the past yeah. content... I think which I, I think, think would be a that. very big I cop might. out. I think it was Freddy do it. Files, but not this. I don't like the Freddy Files updated edition. It just kind of felt weird because well, it was. Thing, I guess it was just adding on. The thing about this character encyclopedia is like we've got so many pages for the special delivery characters, like the skins, <laughs> and we we don't need that. Right? <laughs> what are you talking about? I need to know more about dude. In well, what I'm saying Arctic is they could have like listed the skins. They could have like listed the skins on the like individual character pages. Like is yeah, they could have just done like one big yeah. page of like here's this endos all of, all of his skins because they yeah. just don't matter that much. <laughs> but did, they yeah. did include them very specifically. Did Endo01 get a page? Mm, I no? 
Well, here's the thing. I know Dark Water Barrett Endo got a page. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't so quite I my oh, question. Thank, <laughs> thank God. Um, oh, Dark Order Barando. Wait, Flamethrower oh, Barando? Yeah. And yeah, I think I don't know actually. Yes, I'm no, sure. my boy. I wish I love Flamethrower Barando. He's classic. I asked because I, I saw the page for Endo O Two, and he had some kooky art. <laughs> <laughs> he did have some kooky art. It I'm, was I'm super surprised. cool. Sorry, no, I'm do talk I'm to you. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised they didn't include like the skim lore, like you said on the school. Like, yeah, that. yeah. I, of how I, like, dude, dude, I miss the skin lore. Yeah, I wish they yeah. included that. It's, it's crazy. It's not like, oh yeah, flamethrower Endo burnt Springtrap, and now he's flaming Springtrap, yeah. and he was I'm gonna like, be used William to build Af a mega pizzaplex. <laughs> me when <William laughs> from Chernobyl. Yeah. Listen, me when me when the character encyclopedia confirms all my AR theories. <laughs> if that happened, would you make another video talking about the lore of FNAF AR? Yeah, I would have to. Dude. I would be obligated morally, socially, psychologically to, obligated to do it. That'd be great. <laughs> Is that still your most viewed video? Mm. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's not a good legacy. It's really not. Speaking of goaded videos. Ozone. When that cookbook comes out, I expect you to make every yeah. recipe. Oh, Dude, I'm going don't to. Don't you think Muffin <laughs> would do that? Muffin Why, is, why are you will. expecting Ozone to do it? Because he's done cooking well, streams. Yeah. Oh. I, I missed him. Yeah. So I, I'm hopefully getting a new flat soon. Ooh. Oh. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to be by myself. I'm going to be living by myself. And I'm going to make so many cooking videos. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can do <laughs> more in your wide minutes. open your wide open like by yourself, you don't have to be freaking quiet when people yeah. are home or, or whatever. Like another British YouTuber, Arcade Endo. Hopefully, mm -hmm. we're gonna like we're gonna meet and we're gonna make videos together. I don't know. Oh, you guys gonna but... be flatmates? Yeah. No, but mm. I mean, now you say it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just curious. I don't know if you meant that by meeting up. No. Mm. Be flatmates. Do it. Oh, for some reason, I thought you said B flat, like the, the musical <laughs> note. <laughs> B flat, B flat <laughs> bowl. You Dude, could anyway. you could form like <laughs> the Phase Clan, but for FNAF, FNAF Clan. The clan. British could, FNAF since clan. it's still FNAF, you can still have the Phase logo. The British hey, Fazbear fan. Well, club. the Brit. I mean, I'd say the Brits have been running FNAF YouTube for a while now. I remember the old, old days with A Bit Ryan and and Daco and mm. Raz and all that. Mm. Mm. Raz isn't British, is he? He's Scottish. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Cancelled once again. Two Fs in a row. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what, what What do you guys think of, like, New Age FNAF YouTube? I don't know if we're going to go That's path. a loaded question. That is a very loaded question. That's probably not best for right now. I Seen love... <laughs> you know what? We should. <laughs> you say it. You say what you love. I love. love how everyone nowadays has terrible paths and nothing but drama. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, we should we actually should. save this question. We should save it up for next pod where we talk oh, okay. to someone who's technically in New Age YouTube, who is a part of it. Uh, New New Age FNAF YouTube. Don't sure, you think? Sure. Let's 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 just try that. That's that's a te that's a very mysterious mm. teaser. Well, I mean, I, we've true. Just to answer it for this episode, though, I think it's crazy how different it is nowadays compared to even just a couple of years ago. Oh yeah, <laughs> one of my favorite it's things a lot. <laughs> is how, and I mean, I know Ozone, you started to do something similar. I'm not going after you or anyone, but I love how oh, no. every single FNAF content created nowadays is doing FNAF news. <laughs> Whether it doesn't have to be videos, but even just like community posts or stuff like that. It's like everywhere I look, I feel like especially since Kane stopped doing it, everyone's like <laughs> you know, taking the torch and be like, "Yes, I saw, I saw it's my Muffin time to like, shine." Muffin did like a community <laughs> post. I saw that on my recommended. Hmm. It was like <laughs> Yeah, I guess well, everybody like, does do it, don't they? I I I do it with book stuff because I feel like a lot of people kind of need to know and like Especially if they're like only following me for like, it, like, like what's going on with the book? I don't know. What's I don't know. The, my that's my mentality on it. I think. Mm -hmm. just, I just I think like, it's I'm not gonna funny. I'm not gonna do news on like merch stuff. Like you're clearly like the leading 
FNAF news person. <laughs> please, please, right? please. <laughs> uh, what? But like, yeah, I'm very book specific. So, mm. um, it does make sense for your community. <laughs> I don't do yeah. any FNAF news. I don't Should think I? you. <laughs> you can talk about Dude, FNAF horror news. What if I did FNAF lore news? What if I made? What FNAF does that even mean? It FNAF means lore this... news. Hey guys, <laughs> FNAF news just came up with a new theory. <laughs> Could Freddy Fazbear <laughs> actually be baby? <laughs> Tune in. Yeah. Okay, just... in two months from now when I've got a video out. <laughs> Listen, what I mean is, new thing drops. Nobody has to look at it because I'll just give them the What's facts. The thing? And they can What's make the thing? What's the thing? What's the thing? Hypothetical game slash book slash whatever the frick. I don't care. Okay, so that... What? I'm so confused. Yeah. I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> fumbled the idea. You did fumble the bag. <laughs> Gosh dang. Mm. I have a question, though. Hmm? With all these leaks going around, how do you guys feel? Because I know there are some people again, won't name names, who absolutely hate when people get books early and show them off. I'm usually 50-50. Uh, like, I don't mind these new leaks, but I think the fact that they posted so, so many pages is a little absurd. But I'd love to know what you guys think, yeah. especially with actual books like Tales from the Pizzaplex and the stories. I want to ask, uh, before just like getting into that, what's the legality of like posting pages like that? Before what is the release? Because I do not. Ki well, I mean, just just in general, like before, or after, I, I don't know. Like, is there any legality to it? I, I think... am not entirely sure. Uh, I mean, not. It's, if... it's like if you have the book, you have the book, and you can just show it. <laughs> I I'm sure there's I, something I, I'm, against I'm, posting the actual pages of the books rather than like summaries or live readings where you're not specifically showing the book itself. But yeah. I think usually it does need to be like, there's a reason why the FNAF books have an official um, audio book reader. I, I don't know her name, but she's done like almost every single book, I believe. Like there's a reason oh, why yeah. that's official and you have to pay for that. Cause I was always looking at like the old Andy Matronic um, Silver Eyes reading that's up on YouTube. It's the entire book. And you can just listen to it. Does Unlike, it have the screenshots of the pages? No. Mm. If you don't use the pages, is it legal? I, okay, okay. I know this is something Ozone has like had to deal with. Yeah, because you did like, audiobooks. This is a very big thing because I did used to put the words on the screen. I will admit that, but I have recently taken those off. To like I, fix it. There are that. legal problems with that, definitely. Okay. Uh, but even just audiobooks is kind of iffy still. Because you're still kind of putting it all out there for free. Mm. So, yeah. I don't know. It's a weird situation. Huh. That is super weird. It, it, it does get into a weird legal gray area where you just don't know what's really going on. Because this animatronic book exists, but you technically shouldn't do it. But I think you know, at the end yeah. of the day, if usually I'd imagine it would be very unlikely for any like legal oh, yeah. action to be taken. Definitely. Yeah. Like, I'm sure but... if I look up on YouTube, like, yeah, I'm seeing so many audiobooks of, like, Harry Potter, which is heavily, you know, copyrighted works because it's such a popular IP. Um, yeah, I oh, feel yeah. like... like there's, I feel like there's also no way to avoid this sort of stuff, especially with leaks. Like, mm -hmm. it's going to happen. <laughs> if you search FNAF audiobook up on YouTube, the first thing is Andy's video. The second thing is Ozone's channel. <laughs> I hope you're happy about that. <laughs> I mean, I think Ozen was uh, the main person that did audiobooks. I'm you do do that. I've yeah. been thinking of doing or trying some audiobook stuff. I think I got a good voice for it. Could you be have good. got a very good voice for mm -hmm. it. I've been thinking about stopping. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, then you know what? You stop. I'll pick it up. Pass I'll on the it. torch. I'll I'm do okay it. with that. <laughs> I want to do an entire Stitch Raid one. I think that'd be fun. Could be interesting. I think. With, okay, we were talking. <laughs> yeah, with with leaks, with leaks. Yeah, we were talking uh, about leaks. I feel Sorry. like. I feel like a lot of people are upset about them, especially like the tales on the Pizza Plex leaks, because it kind of locks them out of the community for a period of time. 
Hmm. Especially when you're like a theorist and you don't want the book to be leaked. You, you just want to read it for yourself. I feel like that's a it's, big thing. Is it two opposing mindsets where I want to know the lore, but I don't want to know it before it's officially released, basically? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Moral dilemma. Because hmm. I think if you get it early, it's through someone else. So you don't have the experience of, in, you know, yeah. getting it. You do. As, and as I was saying before with Under Construction, like, we got the summary of it like why is cancer there <laughs> and then you read the story for yourself and you you realize like that's quite unsettling mm. yeah because i'm i mean i will say with dark rooms me and ozone we like to look at the leaks uh inking psychic don't like to look at the leaks so we do have some episodes where it's like me and Ozone giggling like little girls in the background because we know what's <laughs> up, and and those two just kind of waiting it out, <laughs> and we we, oh, yeah. we DM after every episode and are like, okay, this is what because... this was what's happening because we know the stuff. Because also we we knew what happened in Felix the Shark like six months before the book actually fully released. Jesus. And oh my god! We, yeah, and we talked about it, and we were like, "Wait, what did we talk about? This was like stuff from six <laughs> months ago." <laughs> yeah. Huh. Have you Sorry. listened, either of you, but mostly Ozone, I think, to Daco's summaries of the books? Uh, I've listened to one or two. Never. Okay. No, I don't touch those. Okay. I was gonna ask what you guys think of those summaries because I think that those videos are how the majority of the FNAF fan base gets to yeah. know these books. Huh. So they're that's okay. weird. They're just he, okay. He misses details, of course. Does he miss details? Okay. Like, like I'm not expecting him to be a hundred percent on everything. But like yeah, I, I feel like it they're good. They're good because people do watch them and they're up to date with the books. That's that's fine. But like <sighs> I hmm. there's still in, inaccuracies, you know. Yeah, that's why I would be pretty worried if most people are getting them from Daco. It's like, I mean, I mean, even if it was just me or anyone, you know, everyone's going to this person's summary. Anyone's summary can be flawed. Anyone's summary can be really flawed. Oh, yeah. And and if they are just taking it from there, I would be worried that some people just do not have the full picture. In a way. Okay. But yeah, just go get the books, man. Hmm, he's the true. Books are okay. Awesome. That's so good. I did see, I went to Barnes & Noble because I wanted to see if they, the off chance they had the encyclopedia early. They That's did what I did yesterday with my mall <laughs> trip, too. Yeah. Did I, did, I did see one of the Bendy books, and I was like, I keep forgetting, I feel like FNAF started this craze of every indie game now just getting yeah. a book series. <laughs> Bendy like, has it, really Hello good. Neighbor. Oh, well, the Hello Neighbor ones are apparently terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shocked. You say Bendy's were good? <laughs> Johnny, I thought you... Bendy's were good, yeah. Johnny, you I don't understand what I just... <laughs> you don't understand what I just did. I, I just heard you say you went to Barnes Noble to look for the book and got and, and just saw Bendy book. I pogged, got up, opened my door, went outside, and got the Bendy book that I bought at Barnes yesterday. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the Illusion of Living. I bought it at Barnes oh, Noble. That's not yesterday. the one I saw. I we both went there, didn't get the encyclopedia, saw a Bendy book. I was contemplating what? getting it, but then I realized I wouldn't, <laughs> much like the FNAF books, never read it. <laughs> yeah, I might not read Losing Up Living for a while. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think it's so funny. I mean, on the topic of Hello Neighbor slightly, I keep seeing they they keep posting clips of their animated show. And I just oh can't oh imagine there being an audience for that. Oh my god. <laughs> Who's logging on to Secret Neighbor to watch the show? <laughs> right? I it's feel like, like even guys... the most diehard fans wouldn't care yeah no definitely it's i like, don't uh the velma show that recently, that recently oh my came out. god <laughs> so many things about like who would watch this yeah. <laughs> like who is this aimed at i believe it was uh the most low poorly rated animated yeah. show on like rotten tomatoes or something it was like 1.4 out of 10 yeah it was brutal yeah my gosh but also that's one of the shows that i have not watched it full disclaimer but i've heard it like <laughs> the people making it actively crap on the scooby-doo fan base and the characters in it yep and oh, it's yeah. like wh why like what is with studios nowadays getting the rights to ips that they actively hate same thing happened with halo 
the, mm. the animation industry right now is is a whole nother just can of worms because mm-hmm. um i don't know if anybody watched it but um inside job just got canceled on netflix i heard about that and you know what this happened i love inside job it gave me flashbacks to when infinity train got canceled dude my favorite animated shows just keep getting canceled mm-hmm. and i'm so tired of it they're so good damn it's but who knows, you know, eventually when that Fazbear Frights FNAF Netflix show gets greenlit. <laughs> oh, please. It's like, how, it's like, it's like how freaking I'm Goosebumps fagging. got turned into a show. Um, that'd be so cool. Did either of you watch my recent FNAF movie Blumhouse video? Not a consistent Johnny I Blocks watcher. On my recommend. Sorry. That's unfortunate. Um, quick TLDR. Blumhouse, who, for those people who may not know, are making the FNAF movie, are looking to merge their studio with James... Uh, one studio which is atomic monster and with that oh. merger they want to produce double the movies way more uh oh, streaming yeah. shows Ooh. and i mean i'm just saying they greenlit a megan 2 after only the you know internet storm that was the trailer reaction so maybe if the fnaf trailer pops off we can expect a fnaf oh i hope so one house fnaf show or a fnaf show when do we get the FNAF show, dude? <laughs> and then Daku <Doku> gets sued. <laughs> Be like, mm, ooh, I know you did this like five years before us, but I actually I really there's... hope he does season three. Sorry. Sorry. I, 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 I don't I think hope, it's going to happen. I hope there's a, well, I think there's a big enough um, like fan base wanting the like FNAF series and FNAF movies. Absolutely. Like it's, it's a big thing to, to go into. And I Hazard... feel like they could do it really well. Mm-hmm. Has there not a FNAF con yet? <laughs> Always wondered that. A FNAF con? Has there not a FNAF convention? I a feel Fazcon? like Fazcon. they wouldn't have enough stuff there. Maybe. They could have a live reenaction of the bite of 87. <laughs> Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> they have a Fredbear head that you can like put your face into. You're like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, that would be really cool. <laughs> Well, I feel like there would, someone would <laughs> purposely, which is why, like, you know, actually, you know what? Restaurant you know, could I have actually, <laughs> I, I, down the place. Yeah. I go through a cycle of thinking, why is there not an IRL FNAF location to someone will die? So <laughs> yeah. that's the circle of, in of how that, yeah. <laughs> that's the circle of how that works. Someone will die <laughs> if anything IRL FNAF happens. But it would be kind of what funny. <laughs> You said that as a joke, but that's probably like an actual reason. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> is this is this why the ghost kitchens, the FNAF ghost kitchens, got shut down? <laughs> Big sad, by the way. No ordering Freddy Fazbear's pizza. Big sad, no pizza. It's all by gone. Freddy. It sucks. I w- I would have ordered that so much. I hope it's just like on hold and it's not actually canned. <sighs> yeah, I I'm wondering yeah. what happened with that. We'll never know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to America just to have a Freddy Fazbear. Just to order from Freddy. I Fazbear. am so freaking hungry now. <laughs> well, how about we do this? I think we've got one last topic I'm looking at on the list. Yeah. Um, which could be a pretty in depth one, so it could be our last one. Um, needing the books to solve the game lore. Oh wait, we we did actually miss something else that was the very first one on that list. You see, hmm. <laughs> we never. Oh. T- we never talked about the B7 cover. Oh, yeah, the B7 cover. <laughs> Need I pull it up? Someone talk about it. Let me go yeah, get so it. Yeah, so we've already had a story in the series called B7. And we've had the story. We've like we've read it. It's pretty good. But recently we've had a, a cover pop up out of nowhere that is literally a robot kit. Like, you'll, it, you'll put it on screen, won't you, Johnny? Yes, it is right there. Right. It is right. It, it doesn't have a book number. It it says Tales from the Pizzaplex. Like, what is this? <laughs> this is an anomaly. Yeah, it doesn't have the number, but it is the story. But the story's already out. But it's purple. But what's going on? Why is there a foot? <laughs> what are those grippers doing, <laughs> dude? Down that's the dogs. worst part of this whole thing. That right, that foot. All I can think of is that horror. Markiplier clip. He's like. I'm going to get all up in those tootsies. <laughs> That's exactly what this cover is. Um, here's the thing. I don't think we know 100% if this is Tales 8 because it doesn't have the number 8. Yeah. yeah. If this was Tales 8, that would mean 
that this is a B7 part two. But it can't be because it's got the same. Name. It does just say B7. Yeah, yeah, that's what's that's what's it's so not B7 anomalous. conclusion. <laughs> Can I throw this... something out? Do it. Uh, are the authors the same as Haps? Andrew and Is yeah. seven in Haps? Is that it? It's probably... I I just mean the book of Haps, Tales Number Two. I have an idea. What's your um, idea? Wait, he's gonna steal my you know, idea. You know, in the you know in the Fab of Frights, how there was an original Breaking Wheel cover. He stole my idea. Cover. Yeah, yeah I, okay. I, I, we all had the same idea. You, you're fine. We nope, all had you didn't say it. I, I had it too. Nope, you didn't say it. Keep talking, nerd. Bandwagoner. Me. Ozone, you're a nerd. Which Dog. nerd? Oh, okay. You. Uh, yeah, I saw on Twitter someone was like, oh, so the Breaking Wheel cover got rejected, but this one got accepted? <laughs> I like, like to... This is probably why. That is yeah, how like... fans sound. I like to imagine it was scrapped because of the foot. <laughs> the tootsies. I'm it's be all, so horrible. I'm gonna be all up in those feet. <laughs> oh yeah, if you just blow out the foot, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have to add the foot. It adds it nothing. Add it just fills space that could have been left empty. Um, I will say something super interesting. You said B7 was a good story. I will say I am super uncomfortable with that story. It is nothing but mental illness. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. That is what the story is, and it makes me so freaking uncomfortable. But seeing this cover somehow makes it less uncomfortable. My favorite thing was when FNAF fans did what they do best and jump to conclusions and assume oh it was God. about like uh, trans. some transphobia topics. Oh, yeah. And the author herself had to come out and say, absolutely not. <laughs> like, yeah, no. that's so horrible. Yeah. So good job, FNAF fans. You. You're dumb. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, did it on the small again. scale with, like, why is this story talking about cancer? We did it on the big scale with why is this story, like, a trans allegory. It's it's freaking not. We just harassed an author for it. Mm -hmm. Made good stories. Yeah. But yeah, them tootsies. This, this story was terrifying because of just, like, the way it describes this person falling to mental illness. And it is really terrifying for the, what you think in your mind about it. And I guess get, getting an image to go with it makes it a little less scary because what but also the image isn't really connected to the story it's yeah that's why it's weird is that not a character like, in the story well, well it's it's the main character it's just not something they do kind of though. what do you mean they don't grab up on those feet they don't <laughs> they they could hypothetically look like this but they don't they're a human that gets weird robot implants and stuff, but they don't look this dead They're and mangled very and stuff. I, I would say it looks more similar to the that Lady Fizzy image that we had that's boy in the hallway. I'm pretty sure that's what it was for. When but... okay. Yeah, that's why that's why the odds that this is not for the original B7 story goes up, because this like thing on the cover looks like the main character, but after the ending. In the ending Dude gets dude just throws himself in a trash compactor. This looks like what would happen afterwards. I mean, it does have like uh, muscles and veins still and teeth. Yeah, yeah. But oh, that's so weird. And there was no foot in the story either. <laughs> um, Damn. Yeah, don't remember they, the foot. You know, they probably got rid of the cover because they didn't want to be sued for false marketing. <laughs> How do we <laughs> know fake. someone bought the book just for the fee and not for the FNAF character? <laughs> So back to OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the Bobby Dots feed <laughs> Dude, all right. You were going to do the very last topic, and I was like, mm, B7 covers. So yeah, and then the you were like, no, it's my show now. Uh, so what do, you, show now. What, do you, what do you guys think? Do we need the books to solve the lore? Should we need the books to solve the lore? Why we need the books to solve the lore? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I stunned everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you said that, and I thought, "Do you wear wigs? <laughs> will you wear wigs? That's not when will what you wear wigs? Of. You ever thought of that? You ever seen that, Kip? No, uh, I I was doing the Infinity War joke where Drax was like, "Oh, do you one better? Um, Why is Gamora?" <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was um, my joke. <laughs> you know what? Objectively, we need the books. We do technically need the books somewhat. Should so, be though. I think. Yeah, it's a tricky one. I think that the story of Five Nights at Freddy's is kind of clear in the games. But, like, if you want 
the extra lore, like you want to dive into what's actually going on, the books are there for you. And I think that's that's really good. Mm. If but, if yeah. we take the best example of a story that, like we said earlier, 100% canon, Bobby Dots. Technically, you don't need it to know what, yeah. like it, it is a prequel to Security Breach. And if you want to make a timeline, you're going to need it to just fit in there somewhere. Because maybe it explains something, but other stuff, no. And, and I mean, I guess you could say like, the Stitch Wraith, we like to think if it's in the games, it's the merger, it's the glue between, you know, Ultimate Custom Night and VR. And at that point, you do need it. You need it yeah. to know how, you know, William goes from Ultimate Custom Night to being a virus in VR. So it kind of does suck in a way that you do but need them. I also think it asks more questions than it solves, you know? Yeah, it, it. I mean, when it comes to a story, we have so many stories where we're like, is Eleanor in this one? What is Eleanor? If, if she's in the mm -hmm. games, which we think the Stitch Raid might be, what the frick is she? Where'd she come from? It does make a lot more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and you can't visualize them because it's all book. <laughs> a, a lot of the things you it can quantify broke. in the games, you have images, but Frights and Tales is so strapped for like actual graphics. Mm -hmm. You just don't yeah. know what's going on. Oh, that that coupled with how things look in graphic novels, they look inconsistent to some of the art, you know? Right. Yeah. And we spoke to Anthony Morris Jr., who is one of the graphic novel artists. And uh, he was talking about how a lot of the art is d down to creative freedom. So it's not under Scott's, Scott's eyes or whatever. I don't know. They gave some <laughs> input, but like mostly yeah. it's like have the pendant more noticeable in this shot. It's not like... This is why the pendant is is whatever. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's a weird process. Huh. Interesting. I have one last question. Actually, I just thought of it. Oh. Okay. Okay. With Tales books confirmed to still be going on throughout the rest of this year, uh, with what seems to be about eight ish confirmed, do you think we'll get up to the number that Frights had? And do you think? At the end of Tales, they'll keep doing books. <laughs> <laughs> How could we get you more want... books than Tales? What answer do you want? <laughs> what, what, I what, what, want your earnest answer. <laughs> uh, I think they'll do 12 Tales books like they did 12, right? Wow. You think they'll do a bonus inside a box set? Uh, that's Full of scrap stories. Because... Really, do they do they want to do eleven and then just like not end on a round number? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I don't know. It's it is tricky. I feel like, unfortunately, they probably are going to continue. Um, but that they, they they must know there's so many books. Like, not everybody's <laughs> going to be able to keep up. <laughs> yeah, it's like when do I retire? <laughs> you know, <laughs> Scott. I'll make it. I'll make a prediction. I'm gonna divert. I'm gonna divulge. That's not the word. I'm gonna you got branch off word. a bit from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you know big words. I do not fault. think. I do not think there could possibly be as many tales books as there are rights books. I do not think they would do that. That's my hope. Maybe that's just what I want because I don't <laughs> think we're. If if tales is the better frights, you're gonna not need as many books to tell this good stories. You yeah. know. So maybe it'll be a bit more saturated, a bit more, not just um, just excessive. I feel like Frights got kind of uh, repetitive by the end. Book seven, and I was out. Some of the tropes, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, but, yeah. but I don't know. I mean, I would love personally. There's maybe they do it, maybe they wouldn't. I don't know what Scott's thinking. I would love another full-on novel. I want yes. another. Th I miss the trilogy. I miss yeah. the trilogy too. I want a I Five Nights at that. Freddy's book that's not a collection of stories. Let's go back to the basics. Here's my I don't know how it would work. How would it be in a different timeline? Would it be in the games? I don't maybe, know. Maybe Security Breach version of uh, the original trilogy. Could be neat. Yeah, something. What, what were you going to say? Me? Yes, yeah, you. I was going to say, would you want it to be... A new cast characters or would you be interested in seeing like what uh, obviously charlie can't continue but like john and jessica and like all those characters would get up to 
I think that story's done. <laughs> They're pretty much done, yeah. But I had, I did, I just had a thought that would be cool because we know the trilogy's in a different timeline. Whatever, maybe these big books shouldn't be set in in the games. Only little short stories to you know add a little extra. The, a great place for Scott to take you know maybe an entire novel is there are six, I think, six endings to Security Breach. One of them is game canon. Take one of those endings and make a novel trilogy around it. I think that's possible, right? Can't yeah. you have that as your starting point? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can only just imagine it being like one of those fanfics where <laughs> Vanessa is like the adopted mom of Gregory and Glamrock Freddy's like the dad. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> they got the head. They're just carrying the head around. <laughs> yeah. It's it's the hilltop ending where they got to go fight like Fazent oh. or whatever. The only, really cool, actually. the only issue I can see with that is I feel like it would probably complicate things with people thinking all right which one's actually the right ending that's fair unless it's that's... very clearly outlined which one is canon honestly that's fair people would get more confused about that that's why I... you got to make it clear it's set in a different timeline like the I novel trilogy like as much as i love the books and i know other people love the books too i feel like they could do uh, they could just bring it to the big screen you know like like i said the or like you said, the Netflix Fast for Frights TV show or whatever. Like, mm. stuff like that would be so cool because a lot more people would be able to see that as well. Like, not many people are interested in reading about It's super books. easier like, to, to turn it. on the show. Yeah, right. exactly. So I think that would be a really good place to go uh, if, like, Steel will... Like, Fre uh, Freddy and Friends on Tour was really good. Yeah. Uh, that was great. More stuff like that. The movie will probably be like one of the biggest pull-ins for the franchise ever mm -hmm. like yeah, it'll have the it most will. reach because a movie just has the most reach more than a game more than a book it has so much reach i did also I think, good <laughs> i just double checked because i wanted to make sure <laughs> i got the streaming service right i was a bit wrong in the article where it talks about blumhouse's merger it says oh um, and he wants to make another slate of horror flicks for Peacock. <laughs> so, uh, not quite the oh Netflix God. I was saying. <laughs> That's but, not right. <laughs> not I mean, Peacock. TV show either way, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That'd be neat, though. I'd like that. Yeah. Um, is that it? Is that all the topics? I think that is it. Any last minute? Interesting. Dude, you said you said Peacock, and I just flashed back to Quibi. Uh, why? That short-lived. Just I have no idea. That short-lived. Uh, what was it? Just show. Uh, that uh, the app. With, with that freaking <laughs> died off quick. With Mr. Don't. Chance the rapper. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't. You've never seen that ad. It had an ad where their whole joke throughout the entire ad was that they they said his last name was the rapper so whenever he got introduced it was like uh chance it was like yeah mr the rapper and i was like i'm oh, it's so funny i love when <laughs> six-year-old people make apps for <laughs> teens yeah it would suck to get a, a fnaf show on something like peacock just because <laughs> of how small it would be, <laughs> That'd be yeah. so funny but yeah I think that's it. Sorry, divulge. Yeah. Ozone, anything else you want to add? Uh, subscribe to Johnny Blocks. He's true. Big shill. Yeah. The brand new FNAF podcast taking over the internet, dare I say. Uh, shut up. <laughs> Will not need Dark any other FNAF podcasts ever. Ever. <laughs> all gonna die. One day. Yes, yeah, <laughs> Buy us out. True. We can I'm do a gonna, merger. Send you my footage. Just like Blumhouse, we'll do a merger. The blocks talks tar talk blocks talks in dark rooms. There we go. Yeah, have fun with that. I know you want that. <laughs> that would be so great. The dark the dark blocks podcast. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I don't know about that one though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you for having me on. Mm, you're welcome. Enjoyable. Next time we'll all be in costume all ready to rock yeah <laughs> ready to go i'm i'm so excited i don't think we've checked with that for the next guest uh no oh, i mean the, mean the three of us time. the three of us dude next halloween cosplay time Ooh, should we write it down for halloween Ooh. 
Yeah, please. We gotta please. we gotta make a list of ideas. Stand the lookout for that. Gotta list it up. Damn, lot of I, lot I will of... actually do it. I will actually too. <laughs> okay, I'm planning it right now. <laughs> Underscore, oh you God. cannot back out. We are both in. <laughs> I know I've I know I've tried to back out of the other thing. Too. You have tried uh... to back out. Which Look, from... the bits go too far sometimes. <laughs> I will think about it. <laughs> they start off at, as bits, but then they become reality. And then it's like existential <laughs> crisis causes you to freak out. <laughs> I will think about it. It is funny that the two. <laughs> cosplays we have planned right now similar themes <laughs> yes very similar <laughs> themes all right that's gotta be it <laughs> <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> what's going on <laughs>